Rick's Bank Deputy Governor Per Jansson, there's been lots of talk that inflation is now coming globally. But that looks premature looking at your forecast. What's your take on the global situation? Well, I mean, we do revise down our forecast now for the coming year, uh, uh, but we still have, you know, a pretty bright picture of Swedish inflation and believe that it, it will be around target again in 2019. And we are back on the December forecast as of mid-2019. There are signs, I think, internationally that inflation, the preconditions for rising inflation are improving, uh, and that's, I guess, what we've been waiting for. And you can also see that uh, expectations on monetary policy have been shifting up lately, uh, linked to, to those expectations. The Riksbank Bank Board is, is forecasting lower inflation than at the last meeting, but you didn't adjust the repo rate forecast uh, accordingly. Can you explain why? Yes, I mean, there were uh, balancing, you know, pros and cons in doing something or not doing something. There were factors, you know, speaking for both, both sides. So on the one hand, we had inflation around target, and that's been so for, for uh, about a year or so now. We also have a strong uh, cyclical uh, situation in Sweden, and the rest of the world is improving as well, in particular the rest of Europe, which is very important for us. On the other hand, we have these weaknesses in underlying inflation in Sweden linked to service prices and, 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 and wage developments. But when we kind of balance those factors against each other, we arrived at the conclusion that we should leave policy at the moment unchanged. But we're also very clear that you know, these risks that we see around in, in, uh, inflation developments have to be followed closely, and we are ready to act if necessary. Um. You now say that your first rate increase will come in the second half of this year rather than in the middle of this year, as you said earlier. Is the Riksbank Bank Board trying to give itself more flexibility in terms of the timing of the first rate increase? I think the new language is more accurate than the previous one. Uh, and I think it's quite natural as you approach the point in time where you expect yourself to act, you sort of try to be more precise about the way you express this. So that, I guess, is the main thing in, in the shift in the language. But also, you know, there's no grammar in this. We, we do keep the repo rate path unchanged. Uh, but we, we do also emphasize that we have these downward risks on inflation. And that, to some extent, also has been important in terms of changing or shifting the language that we now use. So, so it shouldn't be interpreted as the Riks Bank mentally postponing the first rate increase? Uh, keeping the path unchanged in combination with shifting the language somewhat, uh, talking a bit more about these downside risks that we see, also in light of the revision of the forecast that we do, we thought that was the appropriate thing to do. Did you personally have any doubts about the decision this time? You will see that in the, in the minutes that will be published, I guess, in 10 days or so. Because uh, Deputy Governor also wanted to see a 25 basis point rate, rate increase today. Uh, when, when you start raising the repo rates, do you see any reason to, to raise it in smaller steps or should it be in, what, in line with what Olsson suggested? I think there are arguments both for using smaller steps than usually and perhaps keeping with this uh, 25 basis points uh, pace. But that's a discussion to a large extent that we need to have and that we haven't had yet. Mm. Uh, what's the best timing for raising the repo rate in, in your view? What's the most uh, important factor that needs to be in place as well, compared to now? Again, I guess that's a question that you will uh, learn more about when you look at in the minutes that will be published soon. Mm -hmm. And uh, what's your view of the current krona exchange rate? Well, I mean, I think maybe worries, I mean, certainly worries haven't uh, declined, I would say, given that service price, uh, prices display these weaknesses, and it's not just about uh, the most recent inflation outcome, it's been a pattern running since, I guess, half a year back or so. Uh, and I think they now run at some, something like 2.3 percent, and that's too low uh, in order to reach the inflation target eventually. So those need to go up. And as this happens, you know, the corona gets even more important in terms of not appreciating too quickly and, uh, uh, and too much. But what, what would you say are the main reasons for the corona remaining so weak right now? Well, I mean, when there's, uh, you know, this sort of uh, global 
happenings that have been that have been, have been going on now. It's a typical pattern that the corona then weakens, uh, linked to those events. But normally, then it goes back at, as things calm down. We will have to see if that happens again. But anyhow, I mean, the movement so far are not very dramatic. So, you know, the situation is pretty unchanged. I would say on the whole.